Hey, what is going on, you guys? You ready for the Q and A? Let's do this. Rihanna. Hi. <laughs> and she is very camera shy, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of made her make this with me, but um, yeah. So you sent in your questions from Snapchat, and I'm going to answer them. So I got a lot of submissions, and these I, I read some of the questions, and people use the craziest filters ever. <laughs> Like, I saw somebody use, like, one of those nose things. They were like, hi. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, that was crazy. So, so here we go. First question. I actually recorded it. It's not straight from Snapchat because, you know, I couldn't wait. Because I actually got people that like me. You know? Yeah. I mean, besides you. But, like, seriously. Like, people wanted to, you know, me to answer the question. So, let's do this. This is, we're going to both answer. So, so we're going to, I'm going to show you guys. Ah, gosh. Okay, ready? I'm sure you guys are. Let's do this. I'm sorry if it if it didn't focus. Um, this is from Laura Field Makeup. She said, "Who are your favorite YouTubers?" And I know you did a part two, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that after. But who are my favorite YouTuber? is obviously McJarger Nuggets. I've been watching him for the last year, and I love, um, who else? I, I don't really watch anybody else. I watch, I used to watch Lucas Crookshank a lot. Yeah, I used to watch that. As known as Fred, if you guys don't know, but, um, but yeah, that's mostly who I watch. I, I watch a lot of Shane Dawson, which a lot of people actually tell me I'm like him. I don't know how, but I am, maybe because the hair is all, you guys remember Shane, <laughs> younger Shane. Who's yours? Mine are Markiplier. Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie. By the way, make a lot more money than me, and they have a lot more people <laughs> just to fill you in. So yeah, they do gaming. I, I understand that. He has like 14 million subs. Yeah. All right, and let me go to the second part. If this doesn't focus, I'm sorry, but. I don't know. Also, <laughs> can you tell us the story about how you got to know Trish and how that all came about? All right, I know you guys can't see. I'm sorry, but uh, how I got to know Trish. This is just for me, but my mom mostly likes her. She constantly writes her on Twitter, and they constantly chat. Um, she called one night, and we, we both talked on the phone. Um, yeah, and she, she recognized me. I said I liked her album, and I, I was turning 15, and hers was her, her album was number 15 on the charts, so I, I sent my number to her, and she actually called me, and that was amazing, and I said we should FaceTime and meet up and all that stuff, and she said yes. So that is how, mostly through my mom, but other than that, that's it. So that's how I know Trish, and um, hope you, I hope that answered your question. So this is this next question comes from, I don't know how to pronounce this, Emily Stell247. Okay, I'm not a good pronouncer. If this doesn't focus, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I read over this before. I know you guys couldn't hear it, but she asked, what is your favorite song? So, uh, do you want to answer first? Um, I have to think about that, so you go first. Okay. Uh, well, let's go through my songs on my playlist. I'm about to do the same thing. <laughs> okay, so I actually really like... Um, the the, the recent, most recent song I got into is... Um, I have it right in front of me. I can't even pronounce it. Um, I do like "See You Again," obviously, with uh, Wiz Khalifa in it. Uh, I like got, "I Got a Feeling" by the Black Eyed Peas. But um, my most favorite song, honestly, would have to be. I like "I Can't Fight This Feeling" by um, um, Speedwagon. I don't know. I don't know his name. Ario Speedwagon. But um, yeah, I think that's awesome. Uh, my second favorite, which I know you didn't ask, but just to you know, follow up on it, uh, I like Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. So what's yours? I have two favorites, which is Crazy Equals Genius by Panic at the Disco and Warrior by Paradise Games. Hmm. So, you know what's funny? The other day I saw her wearing a Chemical Romance shirt, and you didn't even tell me anything about that. You like Chemical Romance, don't you? I do. <laughs> what, what, what's your favorite song by them? My favorite song by my my chemical romance is God, it's too many. Come on. I have too Name many. one song. Blood. Okay, blood. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Alright, well I hope that
that answered your question, Emily. Next question is from, I gotta go back to here, uh, Julian. I just saw the filter oh, on. <laughs> Julian smiles. <clears throat> I've seen this before. The question is. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, if I had to describe myself in one hashtag, it would probably be, I mean, crazy is too obvious, but, um, outgoing, funny, all that stuff, right? Yeah. What's yours? I would say outgoing. Very, um, I'm out there. Awkward. <laughs> that is how I would describe myself. Awkward. awkward. Yes. <laughs> that was awkward, guys. <laughs> So yeah, I hope that answered your question. And then somebody awkwardly asked me if I like the Pokemon um, with that, with the, <laughs> with the weird, uh, it's not, it's not weird. It's not gonna focus. All right, well, all right. Well, my favorite Pokemon, uh, I don't really play Pokemon, but uh, I guess Pikachu. Um, I gotta show you guys this. I thought this was funny. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, uh, what's your favorite Pokemon? Squirtle. <laughs> Squirtle. Okay. Next, this question comes from Miss Kelly T. Uh, here we go. I think I remember what this question was. Love your channel, Jack. What got you into retro gaming? And can you check my channel out, please? Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Miss Kelly. Um, <laughs> play a teacher. Oh, I don't want to go back to school now. <laughs> uh, she also said, please play Earthbound. Uh, maybe in the future, sure. Um, what got me into retro gaming? Uh, my dad mostly played it when when I was little. We would play Mario. Uh, we would play Castlevania. We would play Contra. We would play all that good stuff. Um, and yes, I'll check your channel out. Um, what, what's your channel? Is it Miss Kelly T? All right. Well, uh, comment below. Just, just tell me your channel. I'll check it out. Um, what got you into retro gaming? Because I know you play retro games. Oh. Are you a gamer? A retro gamer? <laughs> Tell me. Mainly because of my brother and my mom, because I grew up playing it with them. Kind of like the same game as you and Mario. Oh, stuff like that. Good stuff. Nice. So, my dad, your brother, and your mom. Nice. And now, these are not video questions, but I just had a bunch of questions people asked me. Just, you know, I took screenshots. Uh, this question comes from uh, Amber Sharkney. Uh, my somebody she wrote. My question is, what job do you see yourself doing in the future? If it's not YouTube or if YouTube didn't exist, also describe yourself in three words. Uh, in the future, um, and I know you want to do cool stuff too, so I'll ask you that in a sec. Uh, if I w what I would be doing in the future, uh, if it wasn't YouTube, probably uh, either design or test video games out. De definitely video games because I grew up with them. And I just think they're amazing. Um, in three words, uh, happy, funny, and tall. I don't know. What you? What? Uh, what would you see yourself doing in the future? Kind of any job with animals, really, like a veterinarian. I worked in. Oh, okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> no, I like that. That's cool. Okay, and describe yourself in three words. Shy, awkward, and... Or... <laughs> um, I don't know other word. <laughs> uh, how about fancy? <laughs> stylish, I guess, because, by the way, that's my Yankee PD that, she, that she's, she's wearing. <laughs> so, yeah, stylish, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right, next question comes from Moose Tube. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's from my McDonald's video. Bad bad screenshot video uh, timing. Can you try tasting weird candy or something? Love this video. Yes, I'd love to do that. That that's like what Shane Dawson does. Tasting weird flavors like tasting makes tasting weird everything. Is what he, he, does. he does like crazy faces. I would love to do that. Um you had uh she got a uh, you know toxic waste and stuff. I would love to do that. well it's not weird but I would love to face. do that. Did you ever make a video or try with candy? Uh, possibly. Anything for candy, honestly. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, this question comes from Jimmy Turner. This was in regards to my Instagram's blowing up video when my Instagram did blow up. And an update on that, I got over a thousand, uh, 1,300 um, likes on it. That was crazy. Uh, have you thought about doing top 10 lists? Uh, I have before. I've done when I was younger. I did, um, as in like three years ago, uh, I did uh, five facts about me, which I, did, which I described myself. But um, top 10, like video games or foods or uh, crazy places. Yeah, I would definitely do that. It would be just kind of like a sit down and I would talk to you guys and I would just cool stuff. Like, and uh, yeah, would you ever do top 10s? Like what's, you know? Yeah. Okay. Alright. This question comes from Miss Bitch. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. Yeah, so I. That. That. Okay. okay. Well. <laughs> Well, I've read, I did this before, but I, I I had to listen. She said, if you had to eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? And she loves me really, really much. <laughs> Art. That's a circle. <laughs> there we go. It's like, I love you too. Thank you so much for watching. I talked to you the other day, actually, on uh, Snapchat. But uh, if I had to, if I had to eat one food for the rest of my life, I mean, come on, guys, it has to be sushi. You know, I, I've said in multiple videos, I love sushi, and it just never gets. I mean. See, when, I, when people ask me that question, you can go into different, as long as it's different kinds of sushi, like I can't just stick to one specific piece of sushi. Yeah. Uh, me. So what would your favorite food be? <laughs> Sorry guys. Pizza. Pizza? Yes. Different toppings and stuff. Yes. That's kind of, you could literally put like any food Anything on it, so it's like, pizza. so it's like, so, so it's like literally you could take the pizza off. It's like, like, like if it was just cheese pizza, we have time to do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you would. Oh, look at that. We're 12 minutes in. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Um, here we go. So this question also comes from a Amber Sharkany. Sharkany, I don't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. Somebody wrote. I, she wrote. I, I don't have a Snapchat, so I hope you still answer my question. LOL. My question is: If you were a song, what would you be? A title you make up or any song already made? OMG! I'm so mad you get hate comments. You are so sweet and genuine and entertaining. We are all subscribed to you because you rock, dude! Don't listen to the haters, lol. Laugh them off, and you're too upbeat in sending positivity to so many people, and don't let them affect you. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Um, I loved your question, though. I, I gotta go back to this. That's a good question. It says, I gotta really think about you this. Song, what would you be? And you Title you made up or, or any song. I would be like an action song. I wouldn't be like, yeah, like, like sad song. No, nah, that's not me. I'm happy. I'm a happy person. So it'd probably be a fast, upbeat song. Probably, uh, I feel so alive by Capital Kings, which I think I've showed you really briefly. But I'm pretty sure. I don't know. <laughs> what would what would your favorite song be? Slow song or is it fast? It's weird. It's weird. That's good stuff. It's a good song. In between. I, there's not a lot of people that listen to In Between, so that's awesome. All right. Last question. This comes from Eileen. No, that's my, uh, that's my, uh, one of somebody else. Hi, Jack. My question is, uh, what famous YouTuber were you watching when you decided that you wanted to be a YouTuber? Oh, okay. What? Wait, what, did, what was the question? What, YouTube, what YouTuber were you watching when you decided oh. to be a YouTuber? Well, that was three years ago. Well, I mean, professionally, like, like when I'm starting now, like I'm regularly uploading, it would probably be Shane because he does the tripod, he does the weird faces and the angles and the and the, all that stuff. Definitely inspired me to become a YouTuber. Uh, would you ever become a YouTuber? Like, on the side? <laughs> no. Who inspires you? Nice. Alright, nice. 
That is awesome. All right. Um, so guys, thank you so much for sending in your questions. This was an awesome Q&A. Definitely encourage you to send me more Snapchat questions for next week because I will be doing them weekly. And if you don't send in questions, I'll be really upset. But that, that's, that's cool. That's cool. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And come on. I'll see you in my other video. I'll see you in my other videos. See you guys later.